want the headsets on? It's up to you. Do you want to wear them? Calls. What do I need them for? Do I, I'm not an airport controller. I mean, you've already you're already causing trouble. Do you, do you want them on or not? What do I need them? You can you Sure. I mean, you know, we might play some sound effects. You might. Why do I have to? Hear, pff, hey, how are you? Like, <laughs> like, like we might hey, play. There's like, the dumb guy. Where's the mime? He's a dwarf. We might play. I don't like, need that crap. We might play Z100 like tight, like you know, like uh, blow the five o'clock whistle for the weekend. <laughs> I used that same joke the other day. <laughs> All right, I'll put it on. Hey, Michael. Hi, Richard. Actually, this, well, it, oh, it's a little. Michael, know, Michael, is there a volume thing here? Do I have to become Helen Keller? <laughs> <laughs> and I kid Helen Keller. Mike, did you see? Uh, Mike, do you have any uh, complaints? Uh, Richard Lewis is here. No, I heard his complaint. I was crying. It was like a soap opera. Michael, listen, I'm on Twitter. Just started. I, the last I, I time, do one no blacks or Jews. <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? No, they, they, he, uh, he, sometimes he gets carried away with it. What did you, what say, did you Mike? say? What did you say, Mike? No, they, they go to me into this, Richard. I, the I'm last time, no black to Jews. <laughs> Everything is twisted in these stupid headphones. <laughs> All I hear of him saying, you're a Jew, you're a Jew. He has a criteria for the guests sometimes. No, I, don't I don't give a crap what he wants. <laughs> I've been doing this 45 years, and look like you're dressed in a referee shirt and you're crying. <laughs> and then, then everyone says, oh, the nutcase who tweeted me is probably in a little room and jealous. No, I think it was a very rich guy with two hookers in his room in Vegas worth a half a million dollars who hates your guts. <laughs> you can't, I, I, you gotta just, you gotta feel good about it. You know what someone once told me? You have a resentment toward this guy. Resentments are like taking Taking poison and hoping, and hoping that you die. Right. Hoping the other guy dies. Hoping the other guy dies. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what you're doing. You're, it's eating yourself. Now, do you you're eating do, yourself alive. Do you do Twitter? Forget Richard? about it. Richard, yeah. do you do it? And I do one political do you enjoy thing. It? Yeah. I feel there's 300,000 people around my house wanting to kill me. I know they go nuts, right? Once a big sheet was put over my house. <laughs> really, the, the clan came right out. I, one thing about economics. Because you're a political guy, but your you stand-up's not political. But you are. No, a no, political some guy. of it's more political. But I'm more, I'm more progressive than I am Tea Party. Can I say one thing? I know, I, I know this is weed, hard. It's hard for you. I don't to be, smoke uh, anymore. It's hard for you to be serious because you're insecure. That's not true. You're oh, insecure <laughs> like I am. You're judging me like Michael no, is I'm now. Just saying, no, no, you're insecure like I am. I mean, you're always funny. So so funny when you said let's get pro-gay groups and you couldn't think of, uh, let's see, the American uh, Soccer League. <laughs> that was Michael. You panicked. You can't even mention uh, uh, The Rainbow Club. Just, just say, yeah. yeah. No, not the real. That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the push, the rainbow. It's for blacks, for uh, affirmative action. Get, you're an idiot. <laughs> but a nice guy, and now you don't take that personally. Well, you're very But lose the shirt. I, I'm having a breakdown staring at it. Thank you, buddy. You're very <laughs> observant. You're very observant. Well, he's white. Listen, you're you and John, you're, you're successful men. You're helping him. He's, he's already a great character, but he's, he's dressing like he's stalking himself. I, 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 Mike's stylist, uh, you know, quit the show, actually. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> he had to leave. No, uh, no, he, no, no, keep him on, because then he'll come back. He'll kill you. I have to say something. Yeah. I, I want to be serious for one second. Uh, you can be serious. I want to be want. serious like a Jerry Lewis kind of serious, where I get like... Oh, know. really? Like no, it... No, uh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't, I don't, know, if I ever, I don't know if I ever I told you this. Like, um, well, we've talked many times. I and know. when I went through my hell, Richard called me and I wanted tried to, to help make you. sure I was okay. Your stand-up special, your first stand-up special, I feel... I'm in pain? ...is the best stand-up special of all time. Wow. I, I, I honestly... and I'm not, I, My hand to God, I'm not saying that because you're here. When I'm at the club, comedy clubs talking to comedians, we talk about it all the time. I think it's better than that Richard Pryor live in concert. I think it's better. And that's as great as it gets... I, that's the reason I became a comedian. Well, not, well, what can I tell you? I mean, that is... I was, Did you I see was enough? I said that very same thing at a party last night. <laughs> <laughs> you were just trying no, to... No, no, I was... I, it was my... You know, because I had paid my dues and I had, like, eight years of stuff pouring out of me. Right. So and it was I just was, all brilliant. It was, like, perfect. Well, no, it, I got good... You know, it, 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 got, it, it got me going. Yeah. That and Letterman, yeah. Yeah. And, when I, so, and the Lettermans were always great, you know? Well, you know, he was cool because when I did The Tonight Show, I was, like, hit or miss because I'm too physical doing stand-up. They wouldn't... He wouldn't let me do panel until I got his show. That oh. was the rule. Yeah, but that, that's the, but it was so funny. It's so funny the way you were on the panel. No, though. but on the panel, yeah, Dave knew that. He says you'll never have to do uh, stand up again, a monologue with right. me. So I did about sixty or seventy of them, just yeah. sitting down. And then I, when I got a series, then Johnny let me sit down. I used to tape it every time. The, the chemistry you guys had. Letterman like, and people I? should watch the late night. Your stuff. Letterman appearances should be studied. Well, I was drunk a lot of the time too. <laughs> were you really? <laughs> yeah, some of the See, time. See, as a as a fan, that that, that upsets me. Some a of the time, babe. <laughs> 
almost every host was drunk half the time. No, no, I've done shows in blackouts. I have. I'm doing really? it now. I dated a woman for five months. <laughs> <laughs> I, will you come up with one gay uh, organization? He's on board. Let's see, AAA for Milwaukee Brewers. He's really the Milwaukee Brewers. <laughs> yeah, there's. Are there any gay groups for the Milwaukee? No, I don't Milwaukee? think the Brewers have any gay groups though. No. Uh, no, but, but thank you very much. But you know, so I just did a movie with uh, Peter, Peter Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich. I mean, as uh, you and know, on one day's notice. What's up, Doc? Last picture. Show, no, right? no, last picture show one. He did what's up, Doc? Yeah, no, he did a lot of great hilarious. Movies. So I have, I play a redneck. You do? No neurosis, totally against. I'm either going to be like a genius, or I'm going to have to dress up like Gabe Lincoln and walk around for the rest of my life. <laughs> but I had this woman. Do you really play a redneck in it? Yeah. And you, an accent and everything? No, no accent. I'm just, a, I'm wearing, I just wear underwear and punch people out. No, uh, that's fun. I had fun. I punched Owen Wilson out about. It's a stretch. It took me thirty times because I, you know, I'm not that strong, and I had to. When you ask a stuntman, how do you make a fist? <laughs> yeah. Now you, you've you've dated a lot of beautiful women. In no, your I'm life. married now, man. I'm very married to a beautiful but woman. But in the past, you've dated a lot of. Beautiful I sure women. have. Did you ever hit a woman? No. Never did. <laughs> what? What? No, well, you know, you well, you're your, calling you one had, slap you, a punch <laughs> on the ass. It was for sex. I missed though, and I got her cheek. <laughs> I said, "Let me hit your cheek," and she laid. Well, we were drunk. <laughs> I did a lot of that. Did was you no, date I would a lot never of girls hitting a, back no domestic in the day, violence in my life. Did no. you date a lot of girls back in the day who were also users, like whether you were coding? Most running? of them were on drug right. runs. Right. Models. Probably yes. Like cocaine models. One actress, which I can't mention, she'll sue me for slander, was a big star, and I always wanted to sleep Sarah with Sarah Jessica her. Parker. Oh, right? don't start with names. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, listen, no, but th when I was doing this story, yeah. she was sucking her mother's breast, okay? This is like a long... I was like in my 20s. Okay. But she was a big star... Joe and John Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia de Havilland. <laughs> oh, can I? If I, I know I can't How's curse. for a reference? I know I can't curse, but if I could say the first letter of a really horrible word, is yeah. that all right? No, of course. All right, so Betty Davis and Joan Crawford hated each other. Right. And that they were probably, and I hear things, they probably dated too. Everyone dated everybody back in the 40s. Was, I can see that. You think I, can see, I can see Betty Davis going the other way. You know, everybody went the other way back then. Yeah. Except uh, Mike. Did well. Mike didn't go the other way. <laughs> Mike's very Because he couldn't mention one gay group back then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if he ever went to West Hollywood, they'd shoot him. One gay group. <laughs> so anyway, so she used to, she drank a lot, Betty, and toward the end of her career, it's no big secret. While you were dating her? No, I never dated Betty <laughs> okay. Davis, mental taste. John Crawford, I dated. I'm trying to guess the actress that you hit. No, you won't be able to. So, But she was young, and I saw and I was so hot for her. Right. So I go over to her, her apartment. Yeah. She didn't even have a, she could have had a house, but she didn't care. Betty she, Davis had an apartment? Now forget, get off this, Betty, this riff <laughs> you sucks. You brought it up! <laughs> this riff. Riff! <laughs> I'm talking, oh, Betty Davis joke. Yeah! Oh, no, yeah! No, no, you said Betty Davis. No, so Burt Reynolds says he, he used to chaperone her to parties when she, because she was drunk a lot at the end. Very drunk. So they came to a party and... I'm being dead serious right now. Are we talking about Betty Davis or an unknown actress? Not, actually, I was doing two stories at once. <laughs> One was a young, hot actress who I finally slept with. The other, this is a Betty... Let's talk with Betty Davis. No. So... And then we'll get back to the... the yeah, we'll get back to this you, the lowest the, point of my in, intercourse life. When you slept with this hot actress? Yes, because of how I did it. What'd you do? Can I, let, me, let me finish the bit. You know, forget <laughs> Betty Davis. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, a you know, I'm in a report. This is like a tennis match. I'm in a apartment. She's talking about Michael and how insecure he is. No, I'm just kidding, Mike. <laughs> Thank he's you, crying. He, he cries on a dime. You realize like we're, we're like the Borg and Agassi of comedy right now. I'm trying to lob back. Now, he looks like the guy who passed away who I worked with who was like on Seinfeld, a terrific <laughs> character actor. You know what I'm talking oh, about? And he uh, was also, he was, a, he was on Seinfeld a lot. Can't of the act. Oh, he, he, looks like act. If Shelley, if he looks like if Shelly and Jonathan Winters had a child. <laughs> That's what he looks like. <laughs> You're not helping his uh, his stability. He's fine. He's over. We're Are you have... have to have a breakdown on the show for for? No, you know, he's he's beyond that. Yeah, I think he's smarter it's than happened. you think. Fifty two lives. Name home. one. Was Liberace gay? You have ten uh, seconds. Yes, da, 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 da. Absolutely. Did you see Liberace on HBO? Yeah, I thought uh, a little disconcerting. I can't get that image Why? out of my. Well, oh, I well. can't get the image of Matt Damon banging uh, Michael Douglas out of my head. Can you say bang on satellite? Well, yeah, yeah, sure. Good, then I could say that on the uh, on this story now. <laughs> so I wanted to bang this young actress. Yeah. She wanted to bang me, I thought. Right. Because she was so loaded, she threw a glass at my head, and I got so hot at the bar. 
Really? Yeah, and I ducked, she missed, and then oh, she God. said, let's go to my place. I mean, this is great. But yeah. her movie was out at the time. When we, uh, we got to take a break. When we come back. Richard Should I will... fax this in tomorrow? <laughs> when, we, when we come back, Richard will tell us more about when he banged Leslie Ann Warren. <laughs> She's so good. I wish. I mean, I she wish I that. knew her. I mean, she I do, would. but let's get out of here. Can I guess the actresses? <laughs> no, you, you can't. I'll be sued for slander. <laughs> I'll be sued. <laughs> Daphne Zanuga. No, no. I dated her. <laughs> Did you really? I dated a lot of you people. You dated Daphne Zanuga? Yeah, one day, but I was drunk and she didn't want to see me again. I made my amends to her. Richard Lewis on The Artie Lang Show after this. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.